Hello, um, my name is Ceci, and I would like to welcome you to our first virtual piano lesson. You are in for a treat because I know everyone has been practicing really hard for this moment for the last couple of months. I would like to take this moment to appreciate how hard Miss Vivian um, is working and helping us prepare for um, this. Now I'm going to hand this off to my sister Lucia, who's going to introduce the first player. Okay. Um, okay, so first is Amelia Chang playing Charity no, um, Op number, or Op 599, number 56, followed, or by Carl Charity, followed by Minnie Wet, um, from the notebook of Anna Magdalena Bach, um, Bach and then, um, Arabesque, Arabesque by Frederick, or Frederick, um, Bergmuller. No, stop. You're going to be Mabel Alexander playing A Day in Vienna, and then she'll be playing Tomorrow from the musical production Annie.
Job. Okay, so the next um, performer is going to be Henry Alexander, and he's playing Super Califragilistic Expialidocious from Mary Poppins. And then he will play The Rainbow Connection, which is from the Muppet movie.
Okay. Um, next is Andrew Kung playing Minuet in C major um, by Jean Philip um, Ramieu. And then he's going to be playing um, Peter Cottontail by Steve Nelson and Jack Rollins. Sorry, we have to find. It's Jenny. It's under Jenny. Oh, yeah, I know. Jenny Kong. Do you see it? There we go. Oh, it's muted again. Oh, it's muted again. Mute yourself. <laughs> okay. okay. All good? All right. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next up is Julian Wong playing the windmill, followed by the Mickey Mouse March from the Mickey Mouse Club. Thank you. 
performance. And now for another great performance, we have Sophia Wong playing Sherzo by Ludwig Scheidt. And then she'll be playing Sonatina by Cornelius Gerlitt. Greatest show on earth. from Indira Roy and she's playing the Can Can and she's also playing my favorite things from the Sound of Music.
is Sherry Kender playing Enchanted City. Just one more. Oh, whoops. Oh my God. Sorry. performance in Dira. And our next performer is Shiri Tender and she's playing Enchanted City and um, she's also playing A Whole New World.
great. Thank you, Sherry. And na next is Sassy Sanchez Yeagerman, and she's playing The Sound of Music from The Sound of Music, um, Sona Tina by Ludwig van Beethoven, and then Romanza also by Ludwig van Beethoven. And then we just have a little disclaimer. We have one very wonky key um, that might sound, it, that sounds really off, so the songs might sound a little bit wonky because of this key, but that's, yeah. Take it away. Okay, so next up is me, 
and I'm playing um, I'm playing Minnie Wetch um, from the Notebook of Anna Magnella Bach, and then I'm going to be playing old French songs, and then Allegro. Um, thank you for coming, everybody. Um, first, I would like to thank everyone for coming. And uh, now I would like to thank Miss Vivian for working with all of us every single week. Um, so thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, good job, everybody. You made it. Wonderful. Very, very good. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to put everybody on the screen and I am going to unmute everybody. So don't say anything inappropriate. I will hear you. And then let's take ourselves out. All right. All right. 
Okay. So if you want to yell at me, you can mute yourself. Yeah, I don't need to hear that. Uh, but uh, good job again. Good job, everyone. I, I know it's not easy right now for anyone uh, who feel stuck at home or uh, not much thinking can do. But I know all of you can practice piano for 10 hours a day now. Isn't it great? Yay! Nobody following me. All right. Um, I have to say, uh, this is a particular time. I, in a way, I, I'm actually enjoying this kind of recital because um, for you guys don't know what I'm doing behind the screen is I'm making marks of, um, of all my students and the students that is not studying with me uh, from, from other teachers at uh, my school. I do give you guys some kind of grade in my head. Uh, so what I do is I can feel a third person that see this student and um, knowing if what I hear is what I expect. Because I can, I hear how you guys work each day, each week uh, of your practice. But when you are on a stage, um, doesn't matter if it's for recital, for competition, or for a level test, it, it always feels different. So I can be that judge, I can hear and what the judge will feel. So I myself can use this opportunity to share some thoughts what I would want to work you uh, in detail for the uh, next half year. So this, I actually in a way enjoy that. Uh, because normally, if you guys see me at recital, I'm a crazy person running around. I usually it's it's, it's hard for me to really uh, sit back and listen. But this time I do. I have I actually quite enjoy that. So to me, this is a very interesting thing. Now I do want to um, give a special thanks to Lucia. I think she worked very hard, especially for this uh, this co-hosting, and it's. It's a very uh, unique situation because um, it's not easy to just play, but also have a different character and doing the, the, the different multiple things. And at the end, also still have to keep focusing and do your, your job. So good job, Lucia. Very good. Very good. And same thing for Sassy and, and, and Mabel as well. Very good. Good, good job, guys. Uh, I will be, uh, I, I, that's the one thing I, I know all of you working very hard and I've been yelling at most of you <laughs> or all of you. I will promise I will continuously yelling at you. I can promise that. Uh, but <laughs> all right, let's take a good picture. So uh, if any of our, our audience also want to show up you and take a picture with us, that will be great. Okay, alrighty. And is everybody ready? Almost, almost, okay. And cheese, done. All right, so what I will do is uh, I will share this group picture to all our students family and of course I assume that we know everybody here you can forward this picture to your friends and family as well um, I, I know at the very end I asked Lucia uh, to share some thoughts about what she feel about uh, creating this recital so we're gonna have Lucia talk about it a little bit Okay. Okay, so I had a lot of fun actually planning the recital with Mabel and Sassy because like sometimes we would Zoom and we'd make the order and it, I thought it was really fun to make like uh, the invitation together because we, we like learned a lot of new things. And I think this was a cool thing to have done because like Miss Vivian usually makes all of our recitals. It was nice to make a, our own recital. And I was really excited about this opportunity. 
and I had a lot of fun um, planning it and stuff. And yeah. Oh, and thank you, Miss Vivian, for giving us the opportunity to um, plan the recital. Yeah, making students who work harder, right? <laughs> Very good. Um, there are a couple of things I want to address as uh, I, we will talk during the, your next lesson. A uh, couple of things. Uh, parents, um, feel free to share with me if you have any thought during your practice. And uh, I, free, it's a couple of frequent questions that I've heard from a lot of parents is, how do I know if I don't play piano? How do I know if my kids are goofing around? Oh, you know. You don't have to play piano to know. You, you know. You know your kid. Yep, if you think they're goofing around, they are. They are. Okay, I can verify that because none of my family play piano. None of my family play music at all or anything, doing anything musically associated. It, when I goof around, my dad know. And I can argue with him anytime I want to, but I know he was right. So uh, so for the parents that never talk about this, um, yeah, if you feel they are goofing around, they are. Mm -hmm. don't, don't let them fool you. Um, <laughs> and the another thing that I, uh, I, I heard a lot, how do I know? if this is a good practice. If you hear your kid practice, practice always from the top to the end, top to the end, during the process, if it's already finished the song that we are preparing for the recital, that's a different story. But during the time you are learning a song, when I assign you learning a song, when I assign you for maybe each section or whatever, if you hear your kid play from the top to the end, top to the end for the section, they are goofing around too. Why? Because they are not practicing. They are going through it. What does that mean of a good practice is, kids, I always tell you that, circle where you made mistake. Where do you make mistake? Wherever you stopped, right? That is very clear. Get a pencil, always have a pencil with you. When you practice, make your own mark. I'm sorry, I cannot sit right next to you every single day and circle that for you. So ta-ta, you guys gonna do that yourself. So it, parents, if you hear your kids always, always, always practice from the top to the end, top to the end, <laughs> no, trust me, your kid's gonna be yelled at by me <laughs> the next time you see me. And I'm always right on that part. Everything else I don't know. Don't ask me anything but, 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 but piano. Okay, so so if you hear that two things, yeah, they, no. Okay, a third thing is very obviously doesn't matter what level they are. Even when on my other students on a different day of the recital, when they um, even to play something more advanced, if they are not counting the beat, sorry. In my belief, I know some teacher might see might might hear different. I don't know, but. As, at least for me, if you're not counting the beat, yeah, you're goofing around too. So that's, those are a couple of things that I want to use this opportunity to share with all the parents. I know most of my students are very responsible, right? <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, I see some guilty faces. Um, I'm not going to point at who. <laughs> We were getting better. We were getting better one step at a time. You guys are all gonna get more responsible. And I think this uh, opportunity in this situation right now is gonna make all our students, all our kids more res be, be more responsible because sorry, the teacher can only help enough, okay? And your parents, again, it's not your parents' job to nag on you to practice. It's you, you, your job and you, get, you all can do it very well, I, I, I believe you. Okay, see how well you guys all do. Good job, guys, very good. All right, uh, and the last, uh, if any parents want to share some thought, feel free to, uh, to raise your hand or uh, un, uh, unmute yourself. Um, anything, anyone? Lucia, yes. Uh, okay can all unmute ourselves. Okay, yeah. Maybe you have to turn that on, but like we can't unmute ourselves. You have to unmute us. I 
did, but okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Anything, any, any thoughts? We good? We good? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, we don't know what, uh, how long this going to, to be. Um, I, I have feeling, um, that it's going to be for a while. So we will still work, uh, weekly with the virtual listen we will plan for our next recital as usual either is in person recital or is uh same thing like this is online recital uh so kids you are not gonna get away with that <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay um all right so good job guys again and thank you for all of all of friends and family joining us thank you so much and uh see you soon thank you thank Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Good job, guys.